hello friends in today's video let's solve a lead code weekly contest problem which is minimize or so we are given two positive integers num1 and num2 and we need to find the integer x such that x has same number of set bits as num2 and the value of x or num1 is minimal and we know that x or is bitwise or okay so we need to return the final integer x okay so as an example uh, in our first test case we are given num1 uh, num1 as uh, 3 uh, sorry here yeah, 3 and okay and num2 as 5 okay so now what i need to first calculate is the number of set bits in num2 okay so in 5 can be represented in binary as 101 1, correct the number of set bits is 2 right now i need to form an integer x which has the set number of set bits as the count of set bits should be 2 and the x as or x or num1 should be minimal correct x or num1 should be minimal so this is the requirement of in, in our question okay so now see uh, one very basic property of xor which you you should all know is that see what is the truth table of xor which this is a b and this is a is or b right so whenever both bits are set we get zero whenever neither of them is set we also get a zero whenever either of the bits are set then we get a one so if if the bits are same then we get a zero otherwise we get a one correct so this is a truth table of zor now see in my question i am given num1 as 3 and num2 see the purpose of num2 is to, to just to calculate the set bits okay no no it is not used anywhere else now how can i write num1 okay i can write num1 as in binary as 1 comma 1 and 1 right because it is 3 now see if i could form a number x how would I form a number? See, I need the XOR to be minimal. X XOR num1. X XOR num1 should be minimal possible, right? Now, when when can I say that a number is minimal? How can I make a number which is minimal? See, uh, first thing is that, and in binary representation, you must be aware that as we move from left to right, the set bits, I mean, the power increase, increases, right? From left to right. I would say from right to left, sorry. Uh, so from as I move towards here the bits power increases right so this is the biggest number then this is the biggest number then this then this and then this okay I hope you know that so that is the this is the basic concept we can which we can uh, uh, which you, we should all know right now let me take an eraser okay so now let's come to the point how can I make the number minimal right so see uh, the zor of the number should to be, to be minimal okay so the one very basic property which we could find is that the uh, we know that uh, see this is one and this is one right now what if i could place a one over here and a one over here again then the zor should be zero why because the zor of same if i place the same elements as one then i get zor to be zero and see i have see in the set bit count of five was num2 was two and i have i have made a number x which is equal to three such that the set bit counts is equal to 2 and my XOR with num1 is minimal because I cannot get a minimal number than this correct so this is a I would say this is a solution or I would say this is the answer for this problem right now let me take one more case okay see it is very simple you do not get confused num1 is 1 see this is a good example okay num1 is 1 and num2 is 12 okay so, so see we are clear that we are clear that we would iterate from the 31st bit or the, i would say the most significant bit in num2 uh, sorry num1 because we need to minimize the zor with num1 i would start iterating from the most significant bit of num1 and if i find us if i find a bit is set and i have my count left i have my count left count left count of set bits left which i need to make then i would uh, i would or with with one okay see you need to some you need to get some basic understanding of the bitwise operations in my first example my num1 was 3 let's say it was uh, if it was 5 okay and num2 was let's say 7 okay now the number of set bits in 7 is 3 7 is 3 so that means 3 set bits now i need i need to minimize the sort of uh, see i need to form a number x so how can I form this number x? This is a very important thing. Okay. So now I, I will write this in binary representation. 1, 0 and 1. 
now i am start iterating i will start iterating from the most significant bit this is the msb this is the lowest significant bit correct now if i need to minimize my zor i know that 1 zor 1 is equal to 0 and 0 zor 0 is equal to 0 so i if i see i need to minimize the result then i would i i would have to place a 1 wherever there is a bit wherever there is a set bit okay see my set bit count is again currently 3 i have a set bit in my num 1 then i can place a 1 over here okay in my x this is, i am forming my x okay i am placing a 1 over here i am reducing my set bit counts okay now again i see a 1 over here okay then i would place again a 1 over here my set bit count is now 1 okay so see we still we have not formed the number okay so be, be careful for that see now what happens now my see i have formed the x such that the i would get the zero okay but but i can see that i have my set bit count still left but i i am told in in question i am told that the set bits in the set bits should be equal to the number of set bits in num1 and uh, num2 sorry set bits of x should be equal exactly equal right i cannot leave any bit of one any bit as remaining as one correct so that means i need some more thing right i need to uh, again set a bit or i would say use uh, uh, set bits okay correct so th what i can do see i have formed my x right x is currently x is 1 0 and 1 right now now i would do the reverse procedure i would start from the lowest significant bit and i would move towards the minimum maximum sub uh, sorry uh, most significant bit why because see i need to set one bit okay I, I need to set this number of bits the remaining number of bits then if i set it from the front if started from the most significant bit then definitely my zor is going to increase right but i need minimal zor so for minimal zor i need to start iterating from the lowest significant bit and i am finding that uh, the bit is not set then i am setting it okay i am setting it then my set bit counts is 0 and my x is this 111 which is 7 so this is my answer okay so now let me do a dry run for second test case also okay so that would be more clear to you num1 is 1 and num2 is 12 let me write 12 in binary representation which is 1100 0, 0, count of set bits we have see we will maintain this variable count of set bits as 2 okay now write let me write 1 in binary so this is 1 in binary right now as i told you i would start iterating from the most significant bit and start like, go till less lower significant bit right i need two set bits in my x okay this is my i am forming my x okay now i am iterating started iterating from the most significant bit till the less i am finding a set bit if i find a set bit then i would definitely set that bit in x okay this remains as it is i would definitely set my bit in set that bit in x because correspondingly whenever i do xor whenever i do xor this bit gets cancelled out means this bit gets zero so that is why i am starting from the most significant bit so if, if it was a one over here let's say then definitely this would be a this would be one okay so that is the case we are starting from the most significant bit so this one and ones or one gets zero okay so this this is this is how we are getting the minimal answer correct so as of now assume that these are zeros only okay so now i have uh, since i have set a bit in x then i would re reduce my count to one okay now i can see that my uh, all of i have iterated towards all of the bits of num one okay now i need to do something what i would do see uh, see still my set bit count is left right i have count variable still remaining as one now see my x is 0 0 0 1 correct i must i am taking four bits as of now okay because else it would be 32 bits okay 32 bits integer okay i would say 32 bits representation correct now i would start iterating from the lowest significant bit lowest significant bit and start moving towards more significant bit and i would check the converse case means what is the con inverse or uh, converse case is that if the bit is not set if the bit is not set i would set it i am setting it i am setting it in my i am reducing my count okay now my count is zero i have got my x what is my x zero zero one one which is three this is the this is my answer and you can check see you can do a brute force you can do a brute force you can do a brute force and uh, check that what is the minimal value of zor what is the value of x where we get the minimum value of zor correct so this is the solution to this problem okay so this is a very good bit manipulation problem and see if you are not getting it try a uh, take a pen and paper try using pen and paper and 
try using pen and paper and uh, uh, do the same for both of the test cases okay i also did the same and then i strike the logic that this is the this is what we need to do correct i would paste the code in the description below i would paste the code in the description below but do not forget to subscribe to the channel and if you in case you have any doubt in bit manipulation operations comment it down okay and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the content okay and let me show you the code also okay so see this is a simple code i would say 10 to 15 line code where in first i am calculating the count of set bits in num2 this is a built in function which will give me the set bits count and then i am started iterating from the most significant bit i am checking if my most significant bit is set in num1 and i have still my count as left then i would or it means see what this operation is doing f, f res or i would say result or equal to 1 less than i so you can see 1 less than i 1 1 left bit shift by i is 2 power i okay I hope you know that. See, so this is a basic basic bitwise knowledge which we should get. Now, I am what I am doing. Result is initially zero or zeros. Now, if I have found a set bit at this position, then I would oring it with two power that. So I am oring. So final my result would be zero one zero zero zero. Correct. So this is a simple or operation wherein we are or doing or operation with two power i. Correct. Then then I am checking if my still if still my count is left and I am started editing from the lowest significant bit. And if I am checking the lowest, if, if the bit is not set, then I am setting it and I am decreasing my count. And finally, I am returning my result. Correct. So, this is the simple code, and I hope you will get it by practicing it or I would do pen and paper testing. Okay. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe the channel.